Mm. Okay, hi everyone. In this video, we are go I I am going to do my edit of uh, the photo which I gave to all of you. I put it in the Dropbox account uh, for you to do some HDR. My original video was just saying, or my original request, I think, was just saying that Photoshop sucks at doing HDR. Um, and uh, so I put out a whole bunch of images for you guys to download and play around with and edit yourselves. Uh, the, the files will still be up, uh, still be on there, and I'll put the link to that in the description down below. Um, and I got some interesting uh, replies back. So I'm just looking at some of here. Lorraine, she did a couple of edits. Uh, first of all, she didn't change the, the white balance originally. Oh, because I intentionally set the white balance so that it would be crap. Um, and uh, some other people's just looks a bit dull. That one looks a bit too fake. And anyway, there's a lot of images which... That one just looks dark, uh, that one there. Uh, so here is me going to be doing my edit of the shots himself. I'm going to do the one which not very many people did. Here, Eric Garden did a good example, and Hoof. What? Is that actually your name? Your name is Hoof. Awesome. If it is, that is an awesome name. Um, but uh, he put a little description on what he did as well uh, there as well. So I'm going to choose... I'm not going to do HDR. That's the thing. I'm going to edit a single image. It was all raw files uh, as best as I can. So if I go to the Dropbox account, we've got a whole bunch here. I think I'm going to choose the the tree image because I think that one's the coolest. So I'm just going to uh, what do I do? Copy or just drag it straight into uh, Lightroom. Cool. And I'm only going to copy that one image. So I'm going to show you the editing which I do which I get the most amount of information out of it and probably just what I think looks the best anyway. So, okay, so first of all, we've brought it in nice and easy. It's all rendered. Let's go to develop. Right, straight off the bat, uh, this is what I would definitely call an image which needs HDR. Uh, as you can see, if we go onto the histogram over here, we've got blown out highlights in the sky and we've got some blacks here, but generally, majority of everything is over in the dark. So this is something which would definitely benefit from doing three images, four, five, seven images of an HDR kind of expansion there. However, the amount of information which is in a raw file, you can pretty much pretty much get as looking as good as you want. So first of all, I'm still using Adobe Lightroom 4. Now, first thing which I always do is change the, the, these were Canon files, Canon 5D Mark II RAW files, um, and they come with a camera calibration, or, but was it, yeah, processing or profiles, uh, and I always change it to faithful. I find that to be the one with the most amount of dynamic range, pretty much, uh, the one which I find the easiest to use. And I'm not going to play around with any of the shadows down at the side there, I don't want to mess them up whatsoever. So let's just get this into a larger screen here. I'm also not going to use any presets or anything like that. Uh, so let's say goodbye over there. So now we've got a nice big area to deal with our image. This is on a 27 inch Mac, so that's nice and big. Now, okay, so straight away we've got highlights blown out and darks uh, looking pretty pap. Uh, next thing, again, still before I'm even going to, sorry, I'll move my beer, uh, before I even bother doing any um, exposure compensation is I'm going to do lens corrections. So over here on the, uh, uh, the lens correction thing, enable the uh, Lightroom 4, it's absolutely fine, it's got the lens which you use and it takes out the distortion and it also gets rid of some of the vignetting in the, in the corners. Uh, the colour as well, that's the chromatic aberrations, and I think I put that up a little bit. Manual, I don't need, uh, I don't need to do any manual changes because I'm not really playing around whether I make it straight or not. It's not like a, an architectural photo in any way whatsoever. So, those things done. Happy with that. Always make sure that your screen brightness is as bright as it needs to be. Uh, split tone, I'm not going to use that at the moment. Uh, lens corrections, that, that can hide, and effects, that can hide. Okay, so now let's just go on now. Now we're ready to go on to the basic stuff here. So first of all, highlights, boom, right down. I want them to go pretty, yeah, pretty down. I don't need them to go as down as that. I'll bring them down a little, maybe three quarters down, or point, or minus 75. And as you can see on the histogram, the histogram's an important thing. I would say always always have a good, uh, good understanding of your histogram. 
Um, and you can see there's we've got a good bit of space to play around with over there. Um, the shadows as well, we've got a little bit of shadows, but generally they're just a bit dull. So I'm going to bring that up to about four seven. Ooh, it's getting a little bit more interesting. Uh, now from here, because we've got so much range in the in the highlights, I'm going to bring the exposure up as well. That will also increase. Yeah, nice. Okay, plus seventy. Mm, looking good. However, the whites still look pretty white, so I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm not, I don't really like playing around with this because that really just kind of makes it a dull image or, or not. If I bring the whites down, that's for sure. Um, and the blacks leave that there at the moment. Clarity, definitely always bring that up just a touch, especially with the raw files. Raw files have a low level of clarity, um, so bringing that up, that does like micro contrast adjustments between areas of highlight and, and low light, so good. And again, um, as it's raw file, the vibration and saturation are fairly low, so you want to increase that a little bit as well. So I'm going to bring uh, vibration up to around about plus 20. That's always usually a happy place to be. Now, I want to bring some detail in the sky. I want the sky to be more interesting. So with that, I'm going to use the brush and uh, just bringing, uh, let's just calm all that down. I'll bring it so it says shadows. It's not shadows that I want. I'll put that back to zero. It's highlights down. I'm talking about just like, 20% so this won't be doing anything to anything else and also I'm gonna bring saturation up just a touch up to 17 that will be absolutely all that I need to do there because now that's brought in the detail which I'm needing in the sky and the sky is where I then go to my HSL uh, dialogue in the Lightroom and I go to luminance luminance on the god damn it here I've lost the colors here okay where's blue blue Luminance, I want to bring that down, so that becomes a little bit dark. If I bring it right down, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And saturation, I'm going to boost that up. See, the saturation, I'm also going to uh, boost the green, the yellow. There isn't, I don't think there is, oh, there's a couple of orange flowers there, but you're not really seeing too much of that. Uh, and uh, things I don't like are purple and magenta. There's, there's none of that in there, apart from... If there was purple and magenta, that'd most likely be in the like chromatic aberration uh, and aqua as well. Nothing, nothing there at all uh, in that file. So uh, luminance as well might just bring. Uh, so I want to like make sure the greens are nice and poppy. So I'm going to bring the luminance up of the greens. Just bring that up to about maybe plus twenty. Oh, I see that's looking pretty good. Uh, yellows. Yeah, so it's, it's a strongly yellow image. So if we bring the yellows up by a little bit as well there, that will look good. Now, this isn't too much, there's not too much in shade here at all. So like sometimes, a lot of the time in the shadows, I would uh, add a, a split toning. So maybe add a bit of blue and, or, if, well, if it's in the shadows, I would normally, like if it's a building or something like that, add a little bit of yellow like that, and that would give it a warmer, glowy feel. But this, I don't think this really needs to worry about either of that, so I can just pretty much bring that saturation down of that and not worry about it at all. Okay, so, so far, that's the editing kind of pretty much done. That, that's all I'm doing. Now, the rest of it is just to kind of enhance it. So it's playing around with what gives it kind of a better... Contrast. I'm going to get rid of this a little bit here. So what makes it more of an interesting image? I'm definitely. I'm going to bring the brush back in, and I'm going to hide, like make this tree a bit more interesting. So uh, highlights uh, aren't there. Are no highlights in this image, but the shadows. I'm going to bring up clarity. I'm going to put up a, so further clarity there. Saturation up a touch, and maybe exposure up a tiny, tiny bit. So and I'm just going to brighten up this tree down the side and that definitely gives a little bit more interest. Do I brighten up the actual pathway? I don't know, I'll definitely brighten up the side area here because I do quite like the path being a little bit darker and it, it just that adds that extra contrast. Also brighten up that chair looks really nice there. So I, th I think that looks pretty nice. And if we bring, uh, so from there, let's say we have a side by side view. Okay, let's get rid of that. It's always good to go back to your side by side views or like the before and after kind of shot so you can see, okay, I've, I've, I see how it's enhanced, but how can I enhance it more? So I actually, I probably, let's just go to saturation of the blues. Let's get the blue skies looking a bit more, uh, more imposing going on there. Maybe bring the highlights in just a little bit more along with the, 
Well, the bites don't really need to worry about too much, but let's bring the contrast up and saturation up a little bit more. But maybe now that I've brought the saturation up so much, I'm going to bring the saturation of the, the yellows and greens down a little bit there. And there, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to leave that at that shot. That is how I edited my original file, which, which looked like that. So A to B, uh, just using Lightroom, single raw file. I would say on the right, vastly, vastly superior to the one on the left. I took a little while to edit all that kind of stuff, but I think it was worth it. I think it looks nice. Anyway, that's how I did mine. Not my non-HDR edited high dynamic range photo. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.